He was born on the anniversary of Beethoven's death. Coincidence? I think not. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with composer and pianist Mark Pincus. So when did you first sit down at a piano? Tell us about your journey to become a piano master. I have uh, twin brothers. They both were playing the piano when they were about seven. And they're twins, identical twins, Paul and David, and they quit the same day. My parents said to me, how would you like to try and play the piano? The piano at the time was a very soft yellow piano, wooden piano, near the window. And I sat down and all of a sudden there was a, a rainstorm. So I started playing the rain on the piano. And then a, a black cat from the neighbor came over and started crawling on the window ledge. And I saw this cat, started playing the music for the cat. So my first tune was called The Cat in the Rain. And I'm doing the same thing today I did when I was uh, six and a half, seven. I'm still composing music out of moments like that. Your original compositions are described as sound paintings. Could you expand on that? Because I didn't really develop the so-called classical conservatory technique, I always focused on the feeling behind the music. So I ended up creating pieces of music that involve color with sound. So it's, it's, it's visual emotions. I see music as uh, a palette of colors and sound blended together to create something in, into your imagination. Can you discuss the process of learning your own compositions? The things that are the easiest in life are the, probably the most difficult to explain. For me, c composing a piece of music is like turning on a light switch. Now I have uh, blockages, of course, like everybody else, when there's you know, a six month period of nothing going on, and that's okay too. I believe, strangely enough, that music and composition comes from not doing music and composition. It comes from everything else other than the music. From life, from life experiences, conversations, being sick, anything. It's just this music comes from those experiences. I just transform them from the, those areas in, into the music. Where do you do most of your writing? Do you find that the location has an effect on the final product? A composition is going to come at any unknown moment. So uh, that's why I learned the guitar a little bit because if say uh, I can f hear a melody in my head, if there's no piano around I'll go to a guitar, write it down in a quick sketch form and then go to the piano and, and then elaborate on it. How important is the instrument itself? Do you have a preferred piano? I know within two or three seconds of sitting down at the piano by the resonance if I can communicate with it. It's just about feeling and resonance. It has nothing to do with what the piano looks like, it's how it sounds. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Rebecca.